The world's safest countries are rated by the Global Peace Index rates. This report is published annually by the Institute of Economics and Peace, which is an independent, nonpartisan, nonprofit organization dedicated to shifting the world's focus to peace as a positive, achievable, and tangible measure of human well being and progress. It researches countries to determine which are the safest and ranks the most dangerous. How's it going FTD Facts fam? Leroy Kenton here and for this episode I'll be looking at the 10 safest countries in the entire world. So stay with me till the end of this episode so you don't miss any of these countries. Maybe some of them are on your list of countries to travel to in the near future. The country coming in at the number 10 spot is Switzerland. Switzerland has a score of 1.366 and in the year 2022, of course this current year, Switzerland is ranked 5th in safety and security in that category, which is one spot lower than it was in 2019. Now, over the previous five years, Switzerland, along with several other peaceful countries, has constantly ranked among the top 10 in terms of weapons exports per capita. Switzerland fortunately ranks fourth in the world in terms of food security and is one of the 10 most peaceful countries in terms of ongoing domestic and international conflict. So yes, these countries are ranked in various different categories, but I'm just listing them predominantly based off of the overall rating. But throughout this episode, I may be mentioning where they rank in certain specific categories. With that said, let's move on to number nine, Japan. Japan is the ninth safest country in the world. It has been in the top 10 list for the last 13 years. The country received high marks in the Global Peace Index for low crime rates, internal strife, and political terror. Concerns include Japan's strained relation with its neighbors, as well as the country's self-defense forces growing size and power. Japan is well known for its strict immigration policies and restrictions on gun ownership. As of 2020, Tokyo, Japan is considered the safest city in the world according to the Economist Intelligence Unit Safe Cities Index. From there, let's look at Czech Republic coming in at the number eight spot. In the year 2019, Czech Republic was ranked number 10, but now it has got the number eight spot. Throughout these years, crime rates have declined in this country, especially when it comes to serious crimes. Despite the country's relatively easy access to weapons, terror issues also has a minor impact on Czech Republic. Now, the drop in rankings is attributed to the country's relatively heavy involvement in international conflicts, a high ratio of convicts per capita, and the evaluation of security forces and its police forces. Number seven leads us to Singapore. According to the Gallup poll of 2018, Singapore is the place where people enjoy the highest sense of personal security. Even with minor offenses in the country, the culprits face really hard consequences. Guns are under government control, and this city-state is also the world's second safest metropolis, according to the Economist Intelligence Unit Safe Cities Index, or the EIU. Singapore came in first place for infrastructure security and second place for personal security and seventh place for health security. The safest country in at the number six spot is Canada. Of course, Canada had to be on this list. According to the Global Peace Index, Canada, yes, is six when it comes to being safe. It's been at this position since 2019 and the country got exceptionally high marks for internal disputes as well as crime levels and political stability. In addition to plentiful job opportunities as well as easy access to healthcare and having an efficient government structure, well, Canada has some of the world's friendliest people. And as somebody who lives in Canada, you're definitely gonna meet some very friendly people. Almost a little too friendly, like sometimes they'll say sorry to you if you were the one that accidentally bumped into them. Like it's your fault, but they're apologizing. <laughs> oh, Canadians. But yeah, definitely Canadians will be friendly to you, but sometimes will definitely talk behind your back, even though they've been polite to your face. Either way, let's move on. Number five leads us to the country of 
Denmark. It is one of the world's safest and happiest countries. Everyone in the country, including children, feel very safe at all hours of the day and all hours of night. Denmark has a high level of equality as well as a strong sense of shared responsibility for social welfare, all of which contribute to the safety and happiness of the country. Corruption is rare in business or politics in Denmark where honesty and trust are really valued. Denmark is also a welfare state, which means that everyone is provided with services and benefits that allow them to live very comfortably. Everyone in Denmark has access to free healthcare, free education, and in-home caregivers for the elderly. Coming in at number four, we have Austria. The score of Austria increased by 0.011 points from 2020's score, but it remained in the fourth position. But unfortunately for Austria, they experienced a decrease in the risk of violent protests following the election of Sebastian Kurz's People Party in October of 2017. And as a result of the country's political insecurity, social unrest has grown. Other than that, Austria is a fairly safe nation to visit. Serious crimes are not frequent. However, individuals should look out for pickpocketers and handbag thieves. So keep your personal belongings really close. Number three leads us to the country of Portugal. Portugal is in the third position among the world's peaceful and safest countries. In 2014, Portugal was ranked 18th, but it is now ranked third. Unlike Iceland and New Zealand, Portugal has armed police. However, it appears that the increased police presence has resulted in a lower crime rate in the country. Portugal's economy has recovered in the last six years with unemployment falling from more than 17% to now around 7%. Portugal was the best country for retirement in the year 2020, according to the annual Global Retiring Index. And that was owing to its high level of safety. Number two leads us to New Zealand. This country has an extremely low rate of crime and particularly a low rate of violent crimes. New Zealand has no dangerous creatures in contrast to its southern neighbor, Australia, which is definitely known for having some dangerous species of all types of creatures. Either way, the attack on two mosques in Christchurch on March 15, 2019 resulted in a slight drop in New Zealand's score from the previous year. And New Zealanders though, they are generally very liberal and there are laws in place to protect people's freedom of expression. Police officers in New Zealand do not carry personal firearms as well. The country coming in at the number one spot is Iceland and it has held this position for the past 13 years in a row. With a population of only 346,000 people, Iceland is a Nordic country and the standards of living, its small population and high level of trust and lack of conflict between social and economic classes is the reason for the extremely low crime rates. The country does not have a military and the police in the country normally don't carry any guns. Iceland also has equality legislation in place such as religious freedoms, legal same-sex marriages and adoption, as well as equal pay for men and women. So with all these factors combined, this is why it is the safest country in the world. All right, guys, so that's it for our list. Really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know down below in the comment section if any of these countries on this list came as a surprise to you. Sound off down below. If you did like this one, leave a big thumbs up. And if this is your first time here to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when we post our new episodes. Thanks for hanging out with me in this one, and I'll see you guys soon.